In today's video, we're opening an entire case of Photon Hypernova. All right, guys, we have opened up my entire case ahead of time. Well, it's not mine, actually. I was given this by my locals to open up for them. They're like, hey, you want to open this up for us? And I was like, heck yeah, that would be awesome content. So that's why we're opening up a case today, which we have not done in a long time on a regular video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Sit back, relax. This is popcorn time. I know you guys are going to have your popcorn because this is going to be a long video. And of course, our giveaway will be a Perfect Machine King PSA 9 First Edition. Yeah, graded card. Not bad. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think we'll get from this case. Will we pull a Starlight? Let me know your favorite card from the set. Okay, let's get right into this longer video. Photon Hypernova. It's not a live stream and we're opening a case. It's pretty weird. Frontline Games was my local to hook me up with this. I forgot to say that. So Frontline, shout out to you guys for letting me open your case. This is going to be really fun. That is a secret rare right off the bat and a Ruxin special right off the bat. We have a secret rare gigantic champion if you guys saw yesterday's video i think it was yesterday uh wednesday's video where we pulled the best card or best secret rare two different times it's pretty insane it's gonna be hard to live up to that we're gonna try and do that also i would love to pull frontline a starlight that would be pretty awesome if we pulled like the starlight uh, mirror jade we're like hey got you a starlight there's a nice ultimate great insect pretty cool right, next pack let's see this <laughs> i haven't done a case opening video since i think like toon chaos so yeah, like over two years ago, like it's been a very long time, like two and a half years ago at this point. Yeah, it's going to be a longer video. I don't really know how long it's going to be. I think I can usually open a case in around an hour on a live stream, but with edits and everything, maybe it'll be a little short of that. Maybe we're looking at a 45 minute video. I'm talking about this and you guys already know because you know, the video's out. You can literally just click on the little bar down below, see how long it was. I don't know. I'm just speculating for myself. Secret rare. Can we pull the big boy cash era cards as a nitro head super rare? Uh, there's some pretty big ones. I mean, the biggest one is called the Castira Theosis, I think is how you say it. We pulled two of them out of two boxes last time, which were uh, given away to you guys. So if you guys haven't seen that, there we go. And a Rise Heart Secret Rare. That's a good hit for the Castira deck. Um, and by the time you see this, if it is Thursday, it, these are pre-order prices. Keep that in mind. So a lot of the prices will not be accurate. They'll be higher than usual because on pre-order, most prices tend to be overvalued. Sometimes they do stay the same or go up. But I like to remind people because if I don't remind people, then people are like, these prices are way off, man. What's the deal? Or, wow, these cards are worth a lot. And I'm like, no, they're not. There. Well, some of them will be, but a lot of them are not. We have Evil Eye Unleashed. Let's see if we can get something good. Dynamondo, Ruxin Special, number like five already. That's a super rare. But you know what? We got a lot of packs. It's okay. We can Ruxin Special a few times, right? It's fine. It's okay, guys. Let me know. Let me know if it's okay. A lot of the branded. Can we pull something big out of our case? We have a Gold Pride Star Leon. That's an ultra rare. Our first ultra rare, right? Our first ultra rare. We've got two secrets already. Pretty, pretty weird start. I would love to pull a Starlight out of this case. It's about... We got about a 50-50 chance. It's about one in two cases. Galactic Karibo. So it's not guaranteed that we're going to pull like something insane, but I would love to. I guess we're going to be going for the Mirror Jade in a live stream, but like, let's say we theoretically pull it here. Maybe we'll go for another Starlight or I'll go for it again because it won't actually be mine. So maybe I go for the Mirror Jade again, you know, so I actually get one. These will be for my local store. So make sure you guys go check them out if you're in my area branded uh, because they just, you know, I was just going to get my boxes. I ordered a couple of boxes. I usually get a couple from them and then the rest I get from Sassy Auto. So I was getting a couple of boxes for our first video, our Wednesday video. And, and uh, the owner was like, hey, you want to uh, open this case? And I was like, uh, of course, naturally. So we got the uh, cash tier at Rice Heart. Very nice, ultra rare, good hit. Uh, naturally, I was like, look, people are going to want to see a case opening. So if you want to, you want to, you know, hand me a case to go open for them. That'll be great. We've got the, oh yeah, this guy's sick. He's a Starlight Rare. The Grand Guignol, the Dusk Dragon. I don't think that's how you say that, but that honestly, if we do theoretically pull the Mirror Jade, that's the card I'll be going for just because I like the artwork on it. I think it looks really good. It's pretty fire. Shell of Chaos. We got Grimness, Galaxy 100, Ruxin Special. To the Trivi Karma. That's if you're, you know, Trivia Karma. You know, if you have like a, some, you do something wrong in trivia, maybe you cheat. You cheat in trivia, maybe you have trivia karma. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, we got the Gravity Ninja, Gold Pride. Start your engines! Gold Pride! Okay, yeah. Now for voice. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, Core Chaos. We got Gigantic Thundercross, Yaga Mararu, the Emperor, the Homunculus. Hi, I like to call that Homunculus, even though that's clearly not the name. So today is a 288 pack opening. It's a pretty long opening, you know, theoretically. It's 288 packs is 
pretty wild. I don't know if I'm going to open them in this, you know, style at the whole time, because if I do, it's kind of going to be a long video. I might go with more of the side scroller way like this, you know, a little bit of a side scroller, you know, Brandon Befallen, a little bit easier and doesn't hurt as much, you know, because eventually I know I have a tough job. I've told you guys, look, you can get paper cuts. You can get tired from opening packs. You know, there is a there's a lot that comes with this job. OK, the job description does not tell you how difficult it's going to be to open up these booster packs, you know, because like, you know, plastic, you know, what, what happens if I accidentally, you know, slice myself with a piece of cardboard, like, you know, maybe cutting open a box. OK, beer gram. There's an ultra rare shelled emperor of the forest crown. Cool. And then like, you know, if I go with the, the strategy of opening cards like I normally do, I got to pick every card one by one like this. You know, my arm starts a tricep workout. You know, it's kind of crazy. Galactic Karibo, that's my, one of my favorite cards in this set. I just like the look of it. I think it looks really awesome. Very, very cool. But yeah, yeah, it's it's tough, guys. It's tough out here. We've got a homongous hive hegemon, Zach Stager. I don't <laughs> I don't think I'm saying that right at all. Photon Ivernova is the set that we are opening and it is hype. Whoa, don't drop the cards because we want to get a great ultimate insect. Yes, that's what we're looking for. For Weevil Underwood. <laughs> I don't know why E. Weevil turned into the Wicked Witch of the West, but for some reason he did right there. I, I don't know what happened. Sorry, Weevil. I didn't mean to do that to you. Uh, you're supposed to be Weevil Underwood, the Wicked Witch of the Yu-Gi-Oh's. All right, can we get Tier Elements Cash Tira? Another good one. Anything that says Cash Tira on it, you're... You're basically doing good in this set. I mean, other than some of the commons, maybe. But yeah, the foils that say Cash Tira, you are hitting good. We have an Abyss Actor dress rehearsal. I feel like Abyss Actors have not had any support in a while. Am I wrong about that? I feel like it's been a long time. Because I remember them from like 20, like what, 15 and 16 sets, I feel like is when they came out. And it's been a long time. And I feel like they haven't gotten a ton of support since then. There's a made to order mermaid outfit, mermaid outfit, outfitter. Interesting. A mermaid outfit for you cosplayers out there. We've got the uh, queen butterfly, Danaeus. Another nice card. Where is our starlight rare? That's what we're looking for. Oh, there we go. Ice Jade. Okay, it's Ice Jade. Not going to be good. Uh, yeah, just the name Ice Jade gives a dead giveaway right there. Unfortunately, not a great archetype. Uh, yeah, just not too good. Ice Jades, unfortunately, don't have much going. Arise card on the other hand is a good card that's a great secret rare okay i think that's a pretty strong one xc's pretty cool that xc's i guess are you know gonna be doing good now uh gold pride it's crazy how like links haven't been good in a while it's been like you know fusions we've had xc's like wh where's all the uh where's all the link stuff links have been i guess i mean some of them have been good but it hasn't been like a link focused deck it's been I was, I, i'm saying that i'm probably completely wrong somebody's gonna be like dude what are you talking about this deck was awesome Gravekeeper's Inscription. We got the Gravekeeper Seeker Rare. I'm guessing this is terrible because I don't know if Gravekeeper's been relevant in a long time, but Gravekeepers are really cool and they're pretty iconic for just Yu-Gi-Oh in general. First of all, with the Egyptian theme, you know, because of the original Yu-Gi-Oh series and stuff. And then like they were actually pretty good for a while, you know, at points in the Yu-Gi-Oh history of the metagame and stuff like that. So that's cool to see a Seeker Rare out of there. It's probably not a great card. I don't even see it on the uh, on the value list, so I'm guessing it's not great. Sneaky C. Hey, Max C. Anybody? Anybody want to bring it back? Na Max C would be pretty sick, right? Honestly, they got the uh, they got the Last of Us thing going here. We've got Chaos Mirage Dragon. That's a really cool super rare. I think the Chaos stuff in here is really exciting. Actually, I think it, I don't think it's gonna be great, but I think it's really fun. This is the little Last of Us, uh, you know, are you sick thing? That's what it is. And then these cards are super cool. It's nice to see like Chaos still doing its thing i know chaos is like you know whoa yeah our chaos again you know so much chaos you know it's just like the boomer stuff but it, it's cool stuff i think it's pretty awesome another gravekeeper's inscription probably not the one we want to see too much but it is in my case but i would love to pull uh pull great stuff for them so i'm kind of hoping for some good pulls we have gold pride captain carry especially after they uh Hooked you guys up with an amazing giveaway with the two best secret rares in two boxes. Well, the same best secret rare twice in two boxes, which is pretty wild. Gold Pride Nitro Blaster, pretty cool. There is also that Manticore card. I kind of glossed over it in the last video and so far in this video. But the Manticore card looks pretty cool as well. He's just a common. Let me see if I can find him. Photon Emperor. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. I keep thinking the card before is the... Okay, it's not in there. Uh, the Casa Molar is a pretty cool card as well. It kind of looks like a fox with wings to me. Just knocked over a pack. Maybe that's the Starlight pack. Probably. Chaos Beast. Also cool. Um, Queen Butterfly. Galaxy Summoner. Anything. No. Okay. Nothing there. Still looking for that Manticore guy. I know I saw him earlier, but I had kind of gone by him, so I didn't really talk about him. Chaos Beast. The Abyss Dragon Sword Soul. That's pretty cool to see. More Sword Soul stuff. Lots of packs to go. Like, we are not even close to finishing this opening, so it, it is going to be a long one. Crazy card here, I think, as well. Abyss Dragon Sword Soul, Sari, 
photon timestamp. Let's see. So there's five starlights while we're looking for this. One is a Tri Brigade card, which is interesting. Because Tri Brigade has been kind of dead for a while. And I don't know if it's necessarily because the deck's bad. I think it's just because other decks are better. The worst starlight is the one that I think the art's really cool. So that would be classic me. We got an ultra rare. We got the generator card. It would be classic me to like search for the worst starlight rare, kind of like when I search for the scapegoat and stuff. I mean, it still like says 280, which is still really expensive. There's also the Arise card, the Gold Pride card. I feel like uh, that's in the middle. Yeah, that's the third card. And then the uh, Mirror Jade is number one right now at 460 bucks, which is a, you know, a hefty price tag for a starlight. Uh, usually got to be a pretty good one to stay up there. Oh yeah, and this card is a awesome card. It's a retrain of the like the equip spell that they had with the bug and when Weevil, you know, in the original anime. Pretty cool to see that like getting in a like a retrain as a monster. We have uh, Apophis the Swamp Deity, Fierce Tiger, and Manticore Smashing. Here's the one I've been talking about. This card looks kind of sick as well because you can add Fisher and Smashing Ground from your deck to your hand. Just like every single turn, just repeatedly. So you could kind of have a fun deck here, you know, just popping stuff on the other side of the field. Fisher and Smashing Ground, not so hot cards anymore, but I guess if you could search them, they're maybe not as bad. Honestly, that Manticore deck seems like it'd be kind of fun just to try and run and just try and have a bunch of, you know, a bunch of those removal cards that you could add to your hand. I don't really know the best. I mean, I'm sure you could get out that Manticore really easily these days. There's so many ways to special summon. Um, well, at least you'd have a way to special summon if you got negated or not is the question, but Recently, like with all the tier elements stuff, it seems like there's not as many negates out there, which is pretty cool. Uh, Chaos Witch, but tier elements has been crushed, so we'll see what happens after that. Probably back to the original, you know, five negates and stuff. Galaxy 100 can cast tier rise hard. That's a play set of those, so not bad so far. We still haven't seen any of like the top starlights or the secret rares, though. There's three that are better than that. There's the triple tactics thrust, which we have not talked about. I mean, triple tactics thrust, how do you not want that card? That's pretty hilarious. Then there's the pressure planet. Uh, Wraith soft? How do you say that? Wraith? It's almost Wraith, but there's no H at the end. And then, of course, the uh, the one we already pulled yesterday. Three cards that are, and those are like the big cards. They're like 98, 92, and 77 in terms of the values right now in the pre-orders, which is like big, big money. Like that's, that's crazy. That's usually like the best card in the set doesn't even get to those numbers. So three cards up there right now. I think some of them definitely have to go down, right? There's no way they can all stay that high. There's your, uh, there's your trivia cheating and the karma of the trivia. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so far, pretty been an okay case, but we have a lot of work to do. Hopefully, we can pull some of those big ones for this case. There's no real guarantee of what you're going to pull in a case. It used to be you, you know, almost always get a ghost share, but now it's like Starlights are every other case for on average. Then it's like the secret rares tend to be kind of, you know, random. You could get a bunch of one secret rare and none of the other one or like one of the other one or something like that. So we're hoping that that does not happen and we miss the good ones, but we'll have to see. We've been about 15 minutes into this, this video and we have a bunch of packs left. So there's a Tri Brigade Super Rare. So there's a couple Tri Brigade cards. Is that the one that's the Starlight? Yeah, that is a Starlight. So they have a Super as a Starlight. You guys remember back in the day when the way they did Starlights was they had a Rare, a Super, an Ultra, and a Secret, although they had one of each was a Starlight. It was such a weird decision. So like, like a regular Rare would be a Starlight. And you're like, why is this a Starlight? <laughs> it's kind of strange, but okay. We got Dogmatica Matrix, also very cool. I mean, I, I don't even want to guess how many we've opened so far, but I feel like we've opened a couple of boxes. I mean, definitely a few boxes, I would say. We're probably maybe like a third of the way in, something like that. That's my guess. I really don't know uh, because I don't really do these unless they're live. There's a Rise Heart. That is a good card. Uh, so I, I don't really keep track of how fast we're usually going. And then sometimes like when it's alive, I open it at a different pace because we're doing other stuff like Mega Packs or whatever. So Manticore of Smashing again. Pretty cool card. We have Core. We have the Artos 12. All right. We got Cup of Aces. I haven't brought that card up either. The Cup of Aces Couples is one of my favorite cards in here. I, there, it's just a regular common. There's a Gold Pride Captain. Nice. Can't, okay, no Cup of Aces Couples. I want to find one of those so we can look at that because that's such a funny card. It's Cup of Ace, which is a classic, you know, draw card that you flip the coin. And if you get it, if you get the heads or tails right, you get to draw two cards. If you miss it, your opponent gets to draw two. So it's like very, you know, it could swing the game completely. Galaxy Photon Dragon. That's sick. Wow. That's a pretty card. Sure, it's not good because it's Photon, but 
Wow, that is a nice looking card. I'm a fan of that. Okay, do we have that? Yeah, there's the cup of a okay, couple of aces. So it's a little, it's like a retrain. It's a monster now. If it's in your hand, you can toss a coin. And if the result is had, special summon this card to your field. If the result is tail, special summon this card to your opponent's field. You can only use the effect of couple of aces once per turn. If it's special summoned by its effect, draw two cards. So I'm guessing if we get special summoned to the other field, that means they get to draw two cards. So pretty high rolly, you know. Yeah, you might get it. You might get to draw two cards and get a free body on the field, which would be pretty crazy. But then, you know, if you give them a free body and they get cards it's not gonna work out too well so pretty cool card uh triple tactics thrust there we go one of the funniest names of all time triple tactics thrust yes it has been thrust upon us 77 dollar card by the way so it's actually crazy it's a crazy good card activates a monster effect during this turn set one normal spell trap directly from your deck except triple tactics thrust so you can set TTT, you know, the other one, you could say, you know, something insane, like, I guess I would say like Raggaki Dark Hole, but they suck now, but uh, change of heart, you know, whatever, and probably triple tax towns is what you're really looking at, but uh, pretty crazy card. So it's, it's very expensive at this point. Not only do you get it from your deck, you get to set it, I mean, which I guess setting is kind of worse than getting it to your hand for that kind of spell. Uh, Chaos Mirror's Dragon. It gives your opponent like a chance to pop it before you get to use it, but pretty cool like deck searching ability. So that's why that's the third best card in the set. That's as in terms of secret rares. There is my, one of my favorite artworks from the set again ultra rare so nice so yeah big pull that's nice to see a triple tactics thrust in here we are still looking for the cast here theosis and the wraith soft i don't know how to say these cards but all the cast here cards let's just say that pretty pretty good case now we've got a play set of a rise heart that's pretty good we got a trivi karma keep it going i'm guessing that I really don't know. I'm not going to try and guess. We're not even close because this 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 stack back here, I think, is more than half a case. So I think we'll be still at half. There we go. Cast here at Theosis. That's the big one. Ninety eight bucks on average for pre order. Ninety eight dollars, guys. I don't remember there being one this crazy. Like, I think there has been a couple that have gotten to like 100, but ninety eight dollars is absolutely absurd for a pre-order of a card like that is nuts so we got a super or we've got that one now so we've pulled all but i think the pressured planet is what we're looking for now the pressured planet will be the big one to find now if we can get obviously we want to get probably two or three of each one but sometimes you don't get that sometimes you don't get you know even one sometimes cash tira that's a nice ultra rare but I think you usually do get one, but we'll see. It's a whole case, 288 packs. So you get on average 24 secret rares, two per box. Uh, we'll have to see if what we end up getting. We'll look at some ratios potentially. What a set, man. Photon Hypernova, very hyped up. Number C62. I actually think it's a really cool set. Like at first I was like, yeah, not really any like, you know, throwback cards. So like nothing to search for, like, a, you know, Starlight, you know, Dragoon, which isn't really a throwback card, but it's made up of throwback cards it's not like a starlight stardust something like that so i was kind of like bummed about it because i was like yeah i know it's a hype set but there's nothing i want but the more i look at it, i'm like this is cool there's a lot of like cool retrains there's that chaos stuff which is pretty cool i like the artwork of a couple of the starlights mirror jade's actually a really cool looking card I'm like you know what it's growing on me already I, I already like it and then of course being able to open for like crazy valuable cards is always fun like having a 98 dollars secret rare right now which i'm guessing it'll go down a little bit but just having that potential is always really fun as well so the set, I'm getting more hyped about it the more I open of it, which is right now. This is the first time I've opened it. I already recorded my one for yesterday, just a second ago. So I've been opening a lot of this today and we will be opening more on a live stream, but it's probably Saturday. That's the goal right now. I think Saturday is going to be when we'll do it. I think it's going to be fun time. So if you guys want to see it, make sure you guys come hang out in the live stream. We have a Dogmatica Matrix. Very cool. This is going to be a nice popcorn video for you guys. Just let me know in the comments right now, if you are here at whatever minute marker this is, sitting back enjoying your popcorn, let me know. Ice Jade, that's not a good pull. Uh, let me know, how's the popcorn right now? Is it, is it going well? Is it nice and, did you burn it? You know, or is it solid popcorn? You have to heat up another bag or whatever, because you got to burnt, you know, burnt, <laughs> what is it? Bo I was going to say box of popcorn. We've got beer gram ultra rare should say bag of popcorn there we go all right next one very very cool let's see what we can do and speaking of while we're here we might as well talk about rux and live has been posting two videos a week so is pokey rux so if you're looking for more content i have way more content for you guys rux and live has had more uh both pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh content i did a tier list of the entire Yu-Gi-Oh core sets of all time every single one except I think I skipped one. Gold Pride Leon Secret Rare. I think we did miss one. Somebody in the comments said that, but all but one. So we were close. But if you want to see that, go check out Rux and Live. That is another channel. You can see it on my channels page. If you go over there on YouTube, this actor, we've got a super rare there. So you can see stuff like that. If you do like Pokemon content in terms of 
gameplay poker x has been doing two bucks two videos a week as well so go check those out if you guys are if you guys made it this far into this video then i feel like there's a chance you might care about those videos as well and also if you missed our video with the 24 youtubers the other day make sure you go watch that that was a fun video uh, one of my favorite videos i've ever had on the channel even though i'm barely in it so <laughs> it was fun i think it was cool so go check it out if you missed it one of my favorite videos that i've gotten you know put out on my channel and stuff can we get another secret it's been a while we haven't pulled a well i guess we got the gold pride leon doesn't really feel that good but Hey, it's a secret rare. We can't complain too much. Shell of Chaos. We have the Rindabrum, the Striking Dragon. I feel like we haven't seen him at all this video. I think we pulled it in the last video, like out of our two boxes, but I don't remember it in this one. We have Chaos Mirage Dragon, and that's that same cool super rare. I'm a fan of that. A few packs left till we get to the back row and attempt to pull something epic, aka a Starlight. So far, no Starlights, but do not give up yet. Still plenty of packs, plenty of chances. All it takes is one pack to pull something insane. Let's do this out. I just got poked by something on my desk. What was that? Okay, Photon Hypernova. You gotta believe. Here we go. We have a Dogmatic Matrix. Very nice. It's three packs to go. Will we pull something amazing? Will we pull something? I say three packs to go. There's way more than that. Crash Terror Rise Heart. Another good card. Will it be the best card we've ever pulled? No. Okay, maybe not. Galactic Karibo. Maybe could be considered one of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. So yeah, I will, okay, maybe not, but it, it's very cool. Okay, it's a cool card. Let me know what you think about the Karibos. Do you like that they're coming out with new Karibos? Do you think they've overdone it? Is there too many? I don't think they've overdone it. I think it's perfect. All right, I'm moving some over for the last uh, last back row here. So we might be getting close to halfway. Maybe we are halfway. I really don't know. All I know is that we have not pulled a starlight and I would love to have a double starlight. <laughs> I might get greedy. I, want, I don't want a one star. I want two starlights. And you know what? We, we've done it before. We've pulled three starlights. Let's just do it again. Why not? Why don't we just pull three starlights? We can make it happen. We can make it happen. It'll be sick. We have gold pride nitro head. Cool, cool, cool. Come on. We have the card on the clear sighted. No, no secret rare. We still haven't pulled the pressure, uh, the pressure planet yet. So I would love to pull that card. Oh, whoa, look at that. All you gotta do is manifest it, baby. Pressured planet, Wraith Soth? How do you say that? I'm assuming it's kind of like a, a Wraith, but there's no H after the T, so I don't know. That's it, that's how you do it. Just look, let me just explain to you guys how to do box openings. So you look at what card you want, you then say that you want that card, and then you pull the card. That's how you do it, okay? So if you didn't know, if you were wondering how to open cards, that's how you do it. So simply, all right, I would like a Starlight Rare in the next pack. So not this pack, the next pack. This pack, I would like a Starlight Rare. Here we go, this is how you do it. I would like the Ice Jade, let's just, let's just say that. Okay, maybe not this time, but look, it's, I'm telling you, it works, okay? It works, you just say what you want and it'll make it happen. We'll just have to say the rest of this case. How about that? Rest of this case, we'll get a Starlight. They want to save this suspense. There we go. Chaos Archfiend. Cool Chaos stuff. I am down for that. I think we've pulled... Have we pulled all the Secret Rares now? I'm sure there's a couple we haven't pulled. Maybe some, some worse ones, but we have pulled all the good ones, which is nice. My body is ready for the Starlight. I'm just saying Tri Brigade. That is a Starlight, you know, and it has a Starlight version, but that's just the Super Rare. We can do this. Ivigishki, very nice. All right, oh yeah, I forgot to say in my last video that we were gonna be doing a LOB first ed opening uh, live on that day. I meant to say that so you guys would know, but at this point it's already happened. So we did LOB first ed opening uh, pack on Twitch. So yeah, my Twitch, uh, we do some crazy stuff sometimes. So if you wanna see that live, make sure you go check out Twitch. Uh, I do a lot of different stuff, but uh, yeah, someone sent me a LOB first ed pack so they wanted me to open it live. There's a number C62, that's pretty cool. So you know what I said? That sounds awesome. I would love to. So we're, we did it yesterday. I'm hoping we pulled the blue eyes white dragon. And right now I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know yet, but it really, you know, you're seeing this and you're like, you already know, you already know what happened. You might not know what happened actually, but if you don't, that's okay. Cause it'll be a video soon. So if you missed it, do not fret because I'll make it into a video, of course. So hopefully it'll be a very epic video. Intimidating or we have a oh, ultra rare chaos archfiend again. I'd like to see that. Can we get the chaos monsters? Super rare, not bad. Not bad at all. So many packs, guys. I have not opened this many packs for a video in a long, long time. Well, not a long, long time. I would, how many packs is every pack opening? It was close to this amount. That was also like a three hour video. I was, I was slow rolling most of them. That was a long recording session, three straight hours. That was wild. All right, making a dent into this case. No starlight, but that's okay. This case knows that we want to do the starlight at the end. And we want, we're going to have some suspense, you know, get to the end, pull the starlight, last pack magic. It's trying to help us out for the content, right? The starlight knows it's for the content. We've got Pharaonic Advent, 
Cool circle of fate. Where's the starlight of fate? Will it be here? We have Pharaonic Advent again. That's back to back. That's pretty strange. Remember that OTS opening where we pulled the same cards over and over and over and over? Apophis of the Swamp Deity. Very nice. We have land flipping. We have Waybridge Secret Rare. I don't remember this one. If your opponent controls two or more monsters than you do, they must send monsters they control the graveyard so they only control one monster. Whoa! That's kind of like a uh, like a rivalry of the warlords or what's the other one that's like the same? It's like set of type, attribute, you know, that stuff. It's, it's like that. It's very similar, but they have to have two or more monsters than you do. Interesting. So more like sort of floodgatey cards. That's exciting. <laughs> always love to see those. Okay. Which I say that and then I always play them like auction series and stuff. I play like the most horrible decks to play against. <laughs> but hey, look, it's fun. Okay. It's fun to cause pain sometimes. All right. We got the Quardon. Very cool. <sighs> Uh, so many packs left, but no Starlight. Okay, the Rindbrum. We haven't seen that one in a while. I think that's the second one. Rindbrum. That just sounds like a uh, like a British word for like tush or something like. You know what I'm saying? Like talking about like butt. <laughs> you say Rindbrum. The bum. The Rindbrum. I don't know. You guys agree? If you're watching at this point, you know we've kind of gone off the rails. We're talking about that. We're not probably like halfway through too. <laughs> so we got another half left. What are we gonna talk about, guys? Go oh, cast your rice hard. That's what we'll talk about. That's like our third or fourth one of those. That's pretty good. I don't know. Are they still doing 14 ultras in these sets? I think they are. So getting like specific ultras can be kind of awkward. Big welcome labyrinth. That's the first one of this video, I think. I know we pulled that in the last video. I don't think we pulled it in the case opening so far. So. Good to see that. Dogmatica Alba, super rare. What else will we pull? We have the super rare. Very nice. More supers. No starlights, no secrets. Where are they? Will we pull a, there we go. The uh, the bull guy who takes four monsters being banished to summon him. He's very high maintenance, let me tell you. He's a high maintenance guard. He said, hey, look, I can't help it, man. I, I cost a lot. Chaos Witch. I feel like we have not pulled Chaos Witch much. And it's only a super, so. I don't know how many supers are in this set. I guess it could be a lot. Gold Pride, start your engines. Let's go. The Gold Pride is going to be racing today against Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Photon Hypernova. Here we go. We got the uh, Fairy Ant. Cool. So much to do, so little time. Okay, we actually do have plenty of time, I guess, but Tri Brigade, super rare. Will we get a starlight, guys? Let me know in the comments right now if you think this video is gonna have a starlight in it, which you might already know. <laughs> somehow i don't know probably won't be in the thumbnail i don't think i would i don't think i'm gonna do that because probably a little bit too much of a spoiler but let's see sometimes if i put the thumbnail in there or the uh oh there we go the theosis again 98 dollars card sometimes i put the starlight in the thumbnail like not saying we pulled it but just to show like we're looking for that you know so maybe that would be the case but yeah i'm not gonna say like we pulled a starlight i don't think i that used to be like a you could do it for a video but i don't really like doing that it's a tough balance but i think it's more fun if you go in not knowing if i got a starlight and then i do pull one or i don't you know you really just don't know especially if you do end up pulling one it's more exciting but then there's a balance where like you want to find a good title that people are like actually interested in not like box opening you know <laughs> not just really boring so there's always that balance you got to deal with all right, we have the ultra rare bull guy. Very cool ultra rare. So we've got two of the best card out of here. Not bad. Let's see if we can get at least three of those. That would be a very solid case. I think ultimate great insect. Starlight, please bless us with your mirror jadeness, your ice jade starlightness. Okay, not ice jade, I guess. Mirror jade. He's an ice blade. There we go. Mirror jade, ice blade, but not ice jade. That's that's different. That's a separate thing. You can't mix those two words together because you get a whole different archetype. We are actually getting close, I think, towards the end. There's another ultra rare. I mean, not towards the end. We still have probably four boxes left, but we have made a dent in these packs for sure. We're kind of going going through them pretty quick. We want to get another, you know, triple tactics thrust, of course, you know, the greatest card in here. Unfortunately, thrust does not have a starlight. We, you know, no thrust and starlights here. But then there is the uh, the pressured planet. I see the top three cards don't have a starlight. Now that I'm looking at it, the Arise Heart is the highest secret rare. That is thirty-eight dollars right now. The fourth most expensive secret rare is the highest starlight in the set, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, so I think they usually try to split the starlights between like different. There's another big welcome labyrinth. I think only the second one uh, between different archetypes usually. So it's not like one archetype gets like four starlights in the same set. And then that way they can come back and double dip into them, you know, get kind of like they did with DPE. I know it's not like an archetype, but like, yeah, we'll make it a secret rare first. And then later we'll make it a starlight in another core set, like weirdly for some reason. And then, you know, you want to buy it because you want the DPE starlight again. You know, even though you already have like four DPE secret rares, another ultra rare gold pride. Cool. All right. You guys are starting to see they're falling over a little bit. It's we're, we're getting less and less packs in the background. We're almost to the point where you can really see that we're, you know, 
Oh, Gold Pride, the crowd goes to wi goes wild. The crowd goes wild! Gold Pride, very cool. That's a nice card, but also probably not the one we're looking for. I don't think we've seen that one yet, though, so I guess we've had good luck not pulling some of those Gold Pride Seeker rares that we don't really want. I guess we did pull one of them a couple times, but super rare, nice. We are really looking for those top three or four cards. And we already got three Arise Hearts, so honestly, pretty strong case, just having three of those right off the bat. Pretty weird that we pulled them all together. I did mix up these just for fun. So I kind of probably mixed them together, you know, unintentionally, obviously, but can't really know what's going to be in there. We've got the, okay, the Arctos 12. Arctos 12 definitely sounds like some sort of like robot or something, you know. Uh, we've got a ultra rare. There's the bull again. Oh, a lot of the bull. The bull is everywhere. He has been, uh, he's been picked up a few times. What else are we going to get? Green Ninja. Pretty cool. Ninjas are still around. But ninjas, will we get a starlight? Because so far, it's not looking too good. There's a super rare. Still, I mean, it only takes one pack, though. Like, we could have opened 287 out of 288 packs, and there's still, you know, a great chance to get one. Not a great chance, but there's still a chance to get one because it's not like it takes multiple packs. You literally just open one pack, and it can be in there. Chaos Beast, Gold Pride. We've got the Nitro Blaster, Photon Hypernova, Gold Pride. Start your engines at it again. Okay, Photon Hypernova. Let's do yo thing. Can we get the Starlight we've been searching for? I mean, any Starlight. We're not even searching for a specific one right now. We're just looking for a Starlight. So, you know, one in two cases, theoretically, I just went by a lot of those. You know, doing the side scroller means like I can't really rux and special as easily. I mean, I kind of did right there and went through all the cards, but it's a little easier not to rux and special, but then it also, you can just kind of just show like that it's a super rare right off the bat. So it's kind of hard to, you got to avoid doing that. We've got an ultra rare gold pride. Cool. Very nice. All right. On to basically, I'm guessing this is three boxes right here. We're probably in the last quarter of this opening. Generator ultra rare. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to let me know in the comments. You want to see more just regular video case openings because, you know, we get the editing in, we get the, uh, you know, the prices and everything. Because a lot of people watch the replays of the lives like, where are the prices at? <laughs> I'm like, it was live. I, c I couldn't do it. You know, there's no editing after that. It's just kind of what it is what it was, you know? Whatever happened in the live. Oh man, my voice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, we've got the Tri Brigade, cool. I say very nice, but it was just a super, so. In reality, not that great. Starlight Rare, though, will that will be great. That will be awesome if we can pull that. The Cup of Aces Couples, you love to see it. The Couple of Aces, you love it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, you love to see that right out of the pack. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, and that is beautiful. Look, the Abyss Actor took two shots for the team. It's got Nings up there. It's got that corner. It was defending the Triple Tactics Thrust. Respect. Abyss Actor, Super Producer. You knew. You knew. You knew it'd be better for the show. That's why you're a producer. Triple Tactics Thrust. Beautiful. All right, Thrust, not bad. We need one more Pressured Planet to have two of each of the top three, which would be pretty good. Green Ninja, two of each of the top three will be sitting pretty, will be looking good. We have the Big Welcome Labyrinth. I think that's a play set of those, so that's cool. Anything else from our favorite new set, Photon Hypernova? Will it be a Starlight Rare that we pull? We'll have to see. It is Shell of Chaos. It is Gigantic Champion Sargus. Okay, Secret Rare, but I don't think the Gigantic Champion's what we're really looking for, but Secret Rare is a Secret Rare. We can't complain. Can we get an... Oh, I was going to say an Ultimate Rare. A Starlight Rare, I should say. Already... I mean, so this will put us 14 boxes in of opening this set without a Starlight if we don't get one out of this case, which would be not quite ratio, but not a great start, you know? Not looking good. To, you know, we want to pull Starlights. We've got a Super Rare. I, ideally, you'd pull one every case, but it's actually... I mean, it's possible if they gave you the right cases, but unlikely to happen, though. No, Uh-oh, that pack wants to be in the frame. He's like, hey, let me in. I'm trying, I'm trying to join the club. Photon Hypernova, baby. This is it. We can see all the packs now. This is the last amount of packs. All it takes is one pack at the end to pull something big. Hype in the chat, aka the comments, because there's no chat right now because we are not live. I know, it's so weird. Isn't it crazy? It's like going back to three years ago. Tune Chaos. Back when I was opening with Lewis and we did a couple case openings. Somehow, two of us took like... It was like 50 minutes or something. I guess we were taking turns, so it was basically like one of us. Welcome Labyrinth, that's four of those. I rucks and special that one. That was a super rucks and special. New term I have decided to add super in front of if we do a bunch of them. You know, if you rucks and special like multiple cards, that's a super rucks and special. I don't even remember. Uh, you know what would be fun is for someone to find the first rucks and special. So if you're watching this and you made it this far, Galaxy Photon Dragon, cool. Beautiful secret rare. If you know of, or if you think you know of the first rucks and special, 
you know, send me a message. I would love to know when was the first Ruxin special. It had to be a while ago because I've been sometimes I go back to old videos for like shorts and clips and stuff like that. And I hear Ruxin special and it's like two or three years ago. I'm like, wow, this has been going that long. Ruxin special like is not a new thing. It's been going for a while. And I don't know. I don't know when the first one was. It'll probably be hard to find because it's like you're never really sure. Like you watch one video and I say it and you're like, oh, wait, did he say it? you have to watch all the videos before that to make sure I didn't say it before or something. Unless I guess I say, oh, I've never said that before, you know? Oh, what? I have Ruxin special, new term, you know? Uh, no starlight. Cool, 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 cool. I, okay, this one's been sticking out at me the whole time. Let's just see if that was the starlight. Imagine it's been sticking out just saying like, hey, open me. It wasn't. It was just a super rare. Okay. Nothing too crazy there. We're, we're down to like two-ish boxes now. We're looking at like only a couple boxes, which is pretty wild, you know, because we got 12 to start with. All right, uh, as we're wrapping this up, I want to one, I, bleh, wow, okay, yeah. It's been 43 minutes, okay, guys? Cut me some slack, ultra rare. I want to once again shout out Frontline Games, my locals for, they didn't, I didn't even ask them. They did, they just offered like, hey, you want, you want to open this case? And I was like, sure, that'd be awesome. So uh, shout out to them, local Clarksville, Tennessee. Go check them out if you're in the area or sort of in the area. Um, you can go see them. Uh, I am occasionally there picking stuff up. Uh, I do want to go and like check out a local tournament at some point. I've still never done it. Oh my gosh. We got a Starlight with 44 minutes in. Let's go. What is it? Okay, 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 okay. Is it the next card? Wait. No, it's not the next card. Okay, it's not the next card. It is the next card. Okay. I can't tease you like because of the live you guys can just skip. So we just got to just got to go into it. Frontline Games. I have officially pulled you a Starlight Rare. Let's see what it was. Here we go. Next card. Will it be the Mirror Jade? Let's get it right. Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon Starlight. Let's go. Yes, it was a Mirror Jade. Oh my gosh, the best Starlight in the set. You got to be kidding me. Hey, look. Frontline, I don't know if you know, but you might want me to start opening more of your product because <laughs> the best Starlight in the set, dude. No way. That is insane. They're going to be happy about that one. That is huge. Okay, let's just leave it on the screen a little bit longer. That is insane. The best Starlight rare. I said on the way out, I was like, I want to pull you a Starlight. They're like, okay, I haven't, we haven't pulled a lot of Starlights. And I was like, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, you know. This thing deserves to be in the, the frame. Usually we won't do it, but we'll, we'll put it there. Mirror J, what's the best place? There's really not a good place for it, but you know, wow, that is insane. So this is a great case. If we can just pull, you know, a couple more of the big secrets, we're really looking at a crazy case. That's the $460, like that's the top of the line Starlight. The next one's about 375. So, wow, talk about a nice card. Woo, we already pulled it. So, okay, I was gonna search for that. Maybe I'll still search for it because like I want one myself, but I don't know, I don't know what to do. You have to let me know in the comments. What should we do on Saturday? Should we search for another one? Or should I go for uh, the Granguinoi, the Dusk Dragon? I like that one. You know, maybe we won't even search for one. Maybe we'll just go for one of those two. I don't know, maybe we'll do that. One of my two Starlights that I like. Okay, here's the thing I do wanna say. A lot of times if you pull the fifth Starlight, like the, the reprint one, you can get a double starlight case. Can you imagine if we pull the starlight case, a double starlight case? I mean, there's only a few packs left, but if they if they waited two starlights to the end, that would be so wild. That would be so insane. Oh my gosh! Now I'm getting my hopes up because like every time I've done that, I've done a double starlight case. I pulled a double starlight case. I think it's like happened two or three times. There's always a reprint starlight as one of them. Okay, besides the IP, but they didn't have reprint starlights back then. But like with the Rise of the Duelist, we had the DD Crow and we pulled the, the Triple Tactics Talents. Then what was the other one? There was a couple other ones, and now I can't remember which ones they were, but. Gold Pride Leon, cool. Ah, it's some of them were live streams. I can't remember. I can't remember which ones it was, but it seems like that's the case a lot of the time. Get it? The case. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was dumb. That is crazy that we just pulled that. That is sick, dude. Oh my gosh. Woo! Feeling the good luck, baby. That is how you do it. You just pull the good cards. Just remember what I told you guys? Just say what you want and you'll get it. That's how you do it. That's how you open packs. You say, you know what? I want the best Starlight Rare. And guess what happens? You just pull it. You just pull the best Starlight Rare. Big welcome Labyrinth again. So we didn't pull a lot of those at the beginning. Now we pulled like five or six of them. Whew, what a video, dude. Maybe we need to get back to case openings and videos. This is insane. I mean, that was, that was wild. Pulling a Starlight Rare. 
That is pretty cool. I mean, it was out of a full case, so it's like, you know, 50-50 shot to get a starlight, but then we pulled the best starlight, which is one in 10, you know, to get the right starlight. So about a 10% chance to pull that. So that's still pretty low on average, you know. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Chaos Mirage Dragon. I'm excited, I'm excited for that. That's a beautiful card. I'm gonna post that on Twitter soon. Follow me at Rex34, check it out. Uh, no spoilers, I'm just, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just have a picture of it and they'll be like, hmm, where'd that come from? Queen Butterfly, wow, what an opening, what an opening. Hopefully that bodes well for when I open LOB first later today. And another pressure planet. Oh, this is a case, guys. This is a case. Secret rare pressure planets, number two of those. So we have two pressure planets, true Castira Theosis, true thrust, two thrust, and then three Arise Heart, and then this best starlight in the set. I should have bought this case. <laughs> should have bought this case. Hey, I'm like I hit him up like, hey, you want to let me buy this case? Like, what'd you pull? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just, uh, just sell me the case. Yeah, trust me, I pulled terrible. You wouldn't want this case. Only pulled one of the best. Yeah, I only pulled the best card. You know, all the secret rares and twice. You know, awesome, pretty awesome stuff. But nothing to worry about. We're down to like one box left. Will it be a double starlight case? I'm still believing that it can happen. I still believe in the heart of the cards. Let's go, we have made to order. I always think that's a secret rare for some reason. I don't know why. It's just a super. I don't know why I think it's a secret. Whew. Keeping this recording under an hour potentially could happen. Galactic Karibo, a little Rux and special. That'll help me speed up a little bit. We'll see, an hour. I mean, that's a long recording usually. We don't usually record that long for openings um, unless we're going big time, which I do have a plan for 200K that I'm working on. I think it'll be pretty fun, a thrust. Dude, this case is crazy, man. A third thrust. Oh my gosh, this is such a good case. No way, dude. What a case. Now, if we get another, uh, you know what's crazy? The Castier Theosis, we pulled two total in this case. I think, it's not three, right? And I pulled two in two boxes um, in the giveaway one yesterday. So we got crazy. Like We pulled all, probably all the, you know, all of those out of that one case that we opened from. We only opened two of the boxes. Wow, wow, wow. What an opening, guys. What an opening. Tier Elements, Cash Tira, that's great. Another nice Soul Terraria. I feel like this is like about as good of a case as you can have unless you pull a second Starlight, which I'm not ruling out yet. I think there is a possibility it could happen. It's, it's very unlikely to get a double Starlight case, probably like one in, probably like one in 10 or even less, something like that. That's just completely ballpark numbers. I've opened a lot of cases and I've only done it like three or four times. So it doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. Three Starlights, I've only done that one time out of Chaos Impact, which that was early on in the Starlight, you know, existence. So it's pretty likely that they just hadn't figured out completely the best, you know, strategy for, you know, putting their Starlights into cases. They probably just had like a mess up there. Yeah, the Quadon, a super rare. Whew, I can't believe we got that. Oh, that is insane. Mirror Jade. The Ice Blade Dragon. Very nice. Mirror Jade is a crazy one. Literally the best star, not just a starlight, the best starlight. Of course, of course, it's crazy. Ultra rare Ice Jade. So we got Mirror Jade, which is great. Ice Jade, which is not great. So sorry about that, um, Ice Jades. I didn't mean to offend you guys if you're an Ice Jade fan. Not that I know any Ice Jade fans. Now, I don't know if they exist. I assume maybe they do, but if you're an Ice Jade fan and you're watching 50 something minutes into the video, probably less than that because of editing, but sound off in the comments. Let everybody know that Ice Jade is the best deck. Oh my gosh, Cash Tira Rise Heart. That's number four. Four of the fourth best card. Four of the fourth best, three of the thrust, two of the other two, the top two. So I guess theoretically in, you know, okay, Waybridge, another secret rare, wow. Then this could be like insane, like if you got four of the top two or something, but yeah, I mean, we're not complaining about what we got. That's pretty insane. Pronter Patrol Ship. Let's do this. Oh, dang it. <laughs> that was that was an ultimate Rux special. I turned it around. They just, you know, fell apart. There's a lot of foils in those last few cards, actually. Kind of saved them all for the end, huh? Maybe there's a Starlight we saved for the end. Anybody? Anybody in the comments believe? If you believe, you know, let me know. Let me know. Got the uh, Alistrope of Varus. Cool. Down to the last few packs. I mean, we're less than a box left. Another Ultra, wow, this is stacked in these last few. We really mixed them in the right spot, I guess. We have Queen Butterfly Vinaeus. Man, Mirror J, look at that card, guys. Check that out, check that guy out. Very nice, nice, nice dragon card. You love to see it. Dragons, I mean, just, everybody likes a good dragon, right? Whew. This is a long opening, but it was worth it. Chaos Mirage Dragon, definitely worth it. This is gonna be a very fun video. Nice and long. Hopefully the popcorn didn't get too cold on you guys, because I know these long videos, you might have to eat two bags of popcorn. Like that's how long these can get. 
Another Ultra Tier Elements Cash Tira. That's strong. We pulled like multiple secrets and like four or five Ultras already in this last little bit. Got the Plunder Patrol ship. I mean, we've seen the comments at this point, so we're just going straight to the rare, or the hollows. We got the Galactic Karibo. The last few, we're just going to go straight to them. We got, ooh, another bull. We've pulled like seven of the bull, I feel like. That bull is just wanting to show up. He, he's getting serious. The bull man. We've got the uh, Chanju. Problem is, if we go straight to the rare, what if it's a starlight? We could ruin it. You know what? Okay, good point. Good point, Ruxin. We will not do that. We have super rare. I mean, we kind of did it there, but I didn't really mean to. Last eight packs, something like that. We have the number 12, not number 12. That's a different thing. That's an XEs. Seven packs left of this crazy opening Dogmatica Alba. Cool. Six packs left. Anything crazy. A double Starlight. Oh, Gravekeeper's Inscription. Another secret rare. Not the, really the one we're looking for, but hey, that's three of those. Cool. Another secret rare, anybody? Okay, super. I did mix these up, so there's really no telling what's in here unless you've been counting the secret rares or something, which even then there could be like a weird, you know, error with an extra secret rare or something like that. Any more foils in the last three packs? Queen Butterfly. Okay, nothing crazy. Two packs to go, guys. Another Starlight, I believe. Oh, a super rare. Another one. The one I always think is a, star a secret rare. That's why I kind of got excited there. Last pack. Folks on Hypernova. We're going to do the pack trick. We're going we're gonna to roll it. Slow roll. We've got the Tally Ho Spring. Let's see if we can finish off with something crazy. It's been an amazing case so far. Circle of the Fairies. Manticore Smashing. I like that. Antlion, we got the uh, Dynamondo, the Gravity Ninja, we got Anti Script Dramatic Story, the uh, Diabolantis, the Menacing Mantis, and a Quardon. Okay, so we're finishing it off with a super, but that was an incredible case of Photon Hypernova. Shout out to Frontline Games for letting me open this for them. This was awesome, and I'm sure they're going to be excited about these pulls. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.